Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are back in the VAB today because it's time to start uh, building out for Mars, as you can tell by our title here. This is Mars 3. Uh, I did build a Mars 2 uh, lander. It's kind of a previous philosophy. It's nothing really exciting or new, so I didn't really feel the need to press record. All right, truth is I forgot, and I built it, and it's in the VAB being built, but... Uh, I don't really feel the need to test much of the technology on it because it's all pretty much just another attempt at doing the same thing. Uh, the combination parachute slash powered lander after an aero capture maneuver with a transfer stage being launched on the DN-1. Um, this, I decided I was going to try to do something a little different, I be, uh, that being a powered descent onto Mars. So I'm going to try to build out just the lander section without attaching it to a rocket and get it out onto the launch pad and do some testing. So uh, I'm probably going to speed through the uh, building bits of this and I will pick you guys up in just a little bit. So we're going to start off with this Agena core and then just get some tanks built out. I think we're going to go with this uh, AJ-10 Advanced, although I did spend a little time farting around looking at other engines. And then we're going to use these uh, structural pieces to give us the clearance we need to get some landing legs on here effectively. And then it's uh, two RTGs for power, some RCS thrusters, get those configured correct. And it's time to start building out our science payload, which balances out quite nicely. I'm not too happy with the Delta V stat, so I am going to add some uh, little ball tanks down here at the bottom. And voila! Alright, so this is my, obviously... Very first prototype using a kind of cheatily placed uh, AJ-10 Advanced. I forgot the model number already. Let's take a look. <laughs> uh, yeah, the AJ-10-118F, um, which is uh, very recently unlocked thanks to a new tech node completion. But this is about the scientific loadout I would like to send down, so we're going to get it out to the launch pad and just verify that these RTGs will in fact keep the core powered up with all the comm systems running, that it will leave the ground uh, in the atmosphere. According to this, it certainly should. Uh, I just don't know if uh, 3.2 kilometers per second will be enough delta V to do a, um, a capture. Uh, or not a capture, a powered descent at Mars, because, well, we've never done that before. So we're going to simulate it. We probably don't need more than five minutes. It's going to cost us 200 bucks. No big deal. All right, and the bounce onto the pad. Good, the landing gear did not explode. We're going to turn SAS on. We're going to turn our RCS thrusters on. And, uh, well, let's check our power draw. We're uh, showing net zero, which means we're keeping everything charged. So let's fire up the comms. Actually, let's turn off the RCS. We will activate everything we can. Activate. All right, we're still showing net nothing on our electric charge, which means those two RTGs are more than enough to keep this little guy going. So let's fold these back up because we're going to do some test flights. Deactivate. Good. All right, throttle set to full. Oops. Turn SAS back on. Thank you. RCS engaged. Ignition. All right. This is not a throttleable engine. So, kill the thrust there. We do have unlimited ignitions. Uh, that spool up time, though. Uh, well, that was a landing. <laughs> I guess it can be done. I guess I, I'm wondering about the engines staying under a ledge during descent. I guess we just uh, we hit the ground a little too hard, took out the engine bell, but man, that a spool up time combined with the lack of throttle ability worries me quite a bit. I wonder how many one kilonewton thrusters I would need to balance that out. Very interesting indeed. And if it'll get enough thrust to get us moving here in the thicker atmosphere of Earth, it will certainly work for us in the rarefied atmosphere of Mars. So it does kind of pass all of those tests. Curious. All right, well, let's get it back to the VAB. Interesting how 
seemingly easy that was. I, I think. <laughs> I just, I don't like how long that engine takes to spool. But man, it does work. Uh, let me just get a size comparison here for the uh, Lunar Module Descent engine. No, that's a J2. Where is it? I, I mean, we could do that. That does spool quite quickly. Man, that's a huge engine bell, though. All right, well, let, let me save this. And let's do the cheaty thing and tuck that in there as best we can. That looks... <laughs> oh, there's, there's... Why are those all weirdly placed? That's odd. All right, well, let's remove tanks because I'm sure the mixture is different. Remove. Remove. All right. I mean, what does that buy us for delta V? Ah, 2.9 kilometers per second. That's a lot less. What's the TWR in the... Sea level is 0.86, so as it stands, this won't even lift off the ground. That sucks. I think we're going to have to go with the AJ-10. Sad as it is. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and... Well, don't save. <laughs> I'm going to load Mars 3 and build out a transfer stage, which is probably going to be strap on fuel tanks. All right, where are we? Mars 3, load. There we go. All right, so... Uh, this is not too bad. That thing's capable of like 15 tons. Son of a bitch. I could totally go with a much, much smaller core. Something that only does like 5 tons. You know what? Yeah, we're going to try that real quick. Right. Alright, so I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'll pick you guys back up in a second. So I just basically considered the weight of the uh, whole lander and thought that maybe this Delta core might work a little better. It weighs a lot less, it consumes uh, a little bit less power. And because of that, we can go with just a single RTG, although now we have to balance the weight of that with other stuff, as soon as we get our comms placement figured out anyway, uh, which we'll do with just this uh, structural piece. Bingo. All right, so now we're just gonna place all of the scientific instruments on the other side to balance out the weight of that RTG. We'll even include an extra magnetometer for fun. And then include our standard five instrument layout plus the core. We'll need an antenna for short range also, and then some thrusters to control, and then things go haywire. Yeah, great. Well, we've got that nice thing where we can't click on certain stuff, like our fuel tanks or anything really. That's awesome. But I was about ready to call this design finished, but I can't change my thrusters. Oh, but I can remove them. Very interesting. Engine. Good. We need to configure those. Configured. Save it. Uh, I guess we'll try to give it a test flight, see what happens. I can't do these fuel balls. Yeah, I can't right click on really anything that was from the old build. Uh, this glitch is annoying, but uh, our total delta V is a lot better, 4.4 kilometers per second, and our thrust to weight ratio uh, here at Earth is 1.48, which should be more than enough to land us on Mars, I'm thinking. So let's save this and see if we can't uh, give it a little test flight, shall we? Ooh, and it's even cheaper. Oh, 
Oh, this is interesting. Uh, all right. Well, I think we can... I think the game has crashed. Uh, yeah, no inputs are responding. Whoop. Time warp. It's also year 99, day 499. Yeah. I guess I should know that when I get that bug that, where you can't click on stuff, it means that the it's not long for this world. So hopefully this redesign has survived the saving process and is intact and we can edit it. So, um... I don't know. I guess let me know in the comments which one of these two you'd rather see fly. I don't think we're going to launch both of them. Or if you've got any other suggestions on a powered descent to Mars, I'd love to hear them. So uh, that's going to do it for us today, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. I do appreciate it, and I'll see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.